Hi guys, it's going to be another Weight Watcher meeting highlights video. Um, I'm going to start off with how I did. I'll get to that right away. Um, I lost a total of 2.1 this week for a total loss so far this time of 11.2. So I got a little five pound sticker. Love those, you know, every time you lose five pounds. Really, it should have been a 10 pound sticker. Hmm, I didn't think of that until I just looked at it. I think I, I, think I should have got a 10 pound sticker. <laughs> Fine, I got a sticker and I'm happy. So doing good with that. And uh, here's our weekly. And eat slowly and mindfully. Taking at a turtle's pace can be a smart weight loss move. Okay. And in our Thrive section. Three ways to make mealtime special. Number one, approach it like a play. Setting the stage with a beautifully inviting table. Number two, make food the star. We eat with our eyes first, so I'm all about color, color, and more color on the plate. It shows that it's healthy. Number three, let's go, let go of the day. Focus on the meal and family and turn off the cell phone. Kind of a rule in our house. You can't have a phone at the table. Um, putting my fork down between bites has radically changed the way I think about meals. They are now to be enjoyed, not just eaten. This is a life change. And it's okay to eat asparagus with your fingers. But if it has a sauce like this uh, um, recipe they gave you. You might prefer a knife and fork if they gave a recipe for. Grilled asparagus with orange butter. I don't like asparagus. All right. Eat slowly and mindfully. Eating at a leisurely pace can be a smart weight loss move. Fast eaters can take in as much as 50% more than slow eaters in the same period of time. And when it comes to losing weight, small, easy actions can pay off. This is one of them. Eat more slowly. That's it. Here's why. You have to have mindfulness. You're more likely to be aware of what you are and how much you're eating, which can help you stay on track. Uh, Sayity or fullness. Eating slowly can give your brain a chance to catch up with the stomach and get the I'm satisfied signal. Otherwise, you're more prone to overeating enjoyment linger over your food and you'll be able to savor the flavor you can also focus on the aroma and sight of the food enhancing your pleasure and this everyday event comfort you'll feel better less indigestion and a so assorted icky side effects that come from eating fast and swallowing air and control when you're eating foods you especially like eating slowly can help you enjoy without going overboard Okay. Okay, there's more little tips there, but we're going to go on because i got a lot to talk about about the meeting. And now on the move, take your time, slow down. Take at least four seconds to lift or for squats or other body weight movements to lower down. And four seconds to return to start. Execute your moves movements smoothly and continuously. Work to the point where you can't do another rep, then move on to another exercise. And ready, set, go is try to increase the length of your meals by at least five minutes. Each of your skill builders will help you. So that was pretty interesting. That's basically what we talked about today. Dorothy was back. It was kind of sad. You know, her mother had passed. This was the first meeting back for her. And uh, she cried in the beginning talking about it. And she talked about her mother, Lois. And it was... Very nice. And some of the ladies, and I wish I would have known, I would have given the money. They bought her this beautiful um, lilac bush for her to plant in, in the mother's honor. Now I'm about to cry just thinking about it. Sorry. But anyway, um, and I, I would have put in for that gift had I had known. I didn't hear anybody talking about it. But uh, she talked a little briefly about her, and then we moved on. She was good, and she was she she looked good. Everybody wanted to give her a hug. I gave her a hug. I can't help it. I know Sandy would have hated that, but you know. I can't help it. <laughs> so I gave her a hug. And she's so nice. She remembers everybody's name. She says, oh, Denise. She says, thank you so much. And she says, that's a hug of knowing. That's what she said. Like she knew. Now I'm going to cry. Like she knew I had lost my mom too, you know. But anyway, bring it back. <laughs> um, so let's see. Uh, 
Total for the group, we lost 45.3 pounds, which is really good. It was a full packed meeting as always, and um, I like that. I like it because um, other than the one lady that just keeps, you know, earlier, you know, and um, on my video before I went in, I said, you know, wish me luck for losing weight. And I should have said, wish me luck that I keep my patience because anyway, I'm not going to talk. I'm not even going to give her my time right now. I'm going to move on. Anyway, um, so we talked about eating mindfully. Tune into your body's signals. And number one, am I eating... No, am I hungry or just thinking about food 24-7? Sandy hates that saying, 24-7. Anyway, um, it's like our bodies need fuel. And you have to figure out what you're going to eat about and how you're going to prepare it and when you're going to buy it and all that. So unfortunately, you do have to think about food all the time. And it's not think about food because I want to eat it. Think about food because I have to fuel my body. I have to... Make sure I make the good purchases. I have to make sure I prepare the food and I have it ready for me to prepare. So it's, it is a, this is a life journey and you do have to think about food 20, not 24 seven, but you have to think about it a lot because you have to be prepared and it's a fact of life and you just like, uh, you know, suck it up buttercup is kind of how she said. Not that she didn't say those words, but basically that's it. You do. You have to think about food and it's just, um, it's just going to, just the way it's going to be. Um, let's see. You know, there's signs that you're truly hungry. Like if your your stomach is growling, you're getting shaky, you know, uh, you're feeling, feeling poorly because of the lack of food. Well, then that's hunger. But other than that, you know, you basically, if you don't want to go in and eat an apple, you're not hungry. That's what she said. <laughs> Which is true. You know what I mean? Like, you don't really need those chips because you're hungry. You know, if you were really hungry, you'd go eat that apple. But anyway... And what else did you say? You know, you shouldn't go more than three or four hours without eating. I know a lot of people do that. I know my sister Sandy does that. She doesn't eat her lunch or breakfast until later. That's not healthy for your body. You have to continually fuel your body and um, to keep it as a well-oiled machine. You should be, when you're awake, eating three to four hours each, three to four hours, even if it's something small, a snack or whatnot. That was her words of advice. Um, and uh, what is this one? If you're truly not hungry, then the answer is not food. So, think about that. Then the answer is not food. Number two, the urge for forbidden fruits is overwhelming. Don't we know that? Like, you think about that, whatever, chocolate or whatever it is that you're just, you've, you've said, that's it, I'm done. It's forbidden, I can't have it. Well, the only time it's really forbidden, she said, if it's a red light food. I never, ever like red light. You have a red light, yellow light, green light. If you have a red light and you know, if I start eating a, um, a cookie, I'm not going to have one cookie. I'm going to have 10 cookies. That's a red light food because you don't have the ability to stop at the one that would satisfy you or maybe the two, you know, if you've got room in your points. If you know, I'm not going to eat two, I'm going to eat 10, that's a red light food. And that's right now, don't be doing that. She says you will have an adjustment in your own self that if... You have a red light food now. It doesn't always mean it's going to be a red light food. There'll be a point in time where it's a yellow light where you can cautionly go towards it and, and test it out and see if it's something I can only have just the two and stop. Um, and if you can't, put it back into the red light box because um, you know what's truly your trigger and what you can't help yourself stop from. And then if it's a green light food, you know, those are the things that you, you can uh, sail right through and you got no problems. Well, that should be fruit. That should be healthy things, you know. But the red light, do know that there's red light. But aside from that, she said, you know, this plan, there's truly not a forbidden food. If you want something and you can work it into your points, you have the weekly points available, you have your daily points available. If it's something you know, and like a lot of people, they weigh in on Wednesday. Well, then that Wednesday night, they know they're going to have that snicker bar. They're going to figure it into their points. It might take away a lot of the weeklies. But they know they can have it because this this plan is not about forbidding yourself. It's about working it in, tracking it, and moving on. And so it's like there shouldn't be too many forbidden foods on your list. And therefore, if they're not like forbidden, you know, <laughs> then they're not going to call your name as much. Because you know, I can have that. If I really wanted that, I could have that. You know, so it doesn't bother you so much you're not having it. Because you make the conscious decision, yeah, I'm not going to have it today. But I could. If I wanted it, I could. That's kind of, you know, you're playing with your mind, but it's a good thing. 
Um, number three, it seems like I'm always hungry at night. And there are people who are like that. Denise, that's me. I'd like to snack on something. You're watching TV, you're bored, whatever you're doing. If you don't watch TV, you're listening to music, you're doing your crafting, you're doing whatever. Um, for me, it tend to, I, I try to make myself busy and that's how I don't eat. But she says, just plan on it. Just plan to know you are, an, uh, you are a night eater and you need to save some points for it. Now, hopefully it's something healthy, um, something that you can fit in your points. Again, if you needed to dip into the weeklies, you don't really want to do that every day because then, well, you'd have no weeklies left. But it, um, it's just a matter of planning for it in your day. If you know you need to have so many points at night, then you figure that out for the breakfast and the lunch and the dinner that you have those points available at night and that you'll be able to not go over your points. Um, the dipping into the weeklies is more like for those things you just have to have and you just... You get it, you eat it, and you're done, and you move on. Uh, to do it daily, that wasn't her thought. I mean, everybody does their own plan in their own way. She says, if you use every one of your weeklies and you keep losing weight, is then it's working for you, and don't change anything. But if you're a person who, if you you know, even get half of your weeklies and you're not losing weight, well, then that's where you want to make some adjustments. So anyway, just a matter of fact, if you know you're a nightly eater, figure points for the night. And just have it be part of your day. Because you are who you are. And you're not going to change. <laughs> you can't really change that. Um, what does it say? I'm mean, just going over my notes. And make sure that those are conscious snacks. Not just on a whim snacks. Plan it. Figure it out. And know ahead of time. And don't think, oh, I'm really hungry. What can I go in the kitchen and find? And then you find your kid's, you know, chip bag or something like that. No, do it, plan it ahead so you, you're not feeling guilty and you just know it's going to be part of your points. And that takes the mindless eating out of the equation, which is what you want to do. Um, okay, and then another point would be my sweet tooth, my sweet tooth seems uncontrollable. Just let's start with a couple things here. Do you want that Snickers bar? Okay, first off, go take, go go drink a whole glass of water. Give yourself, give your mind, because your body does not know whether you're thirsty or you're hungry. It has an, it has a craving for something. It's telling you feed me or you know give me something to drink, and it doesn't know one way or the other. So if you take the whole glass of water and you give that a couple of seconds, you know, give it a couple of minutes, that might be all your body really needed, and it might wash away that craving, and you could just move on. That's number one. Now, number two, if you need something sweet, you just need something sweet, flavor that water with, you know, one of those no-point things. There's many different ones, Crystal Light, and there's like Kool-Aid and um, other things you can put in there. Maybe a, uh, some an actual lemon or whatever. Sweeten it a bit so you get some sweetness, and maybe that'll, that'll curb your craving there. Um, what else? And you have to visualize it that you're washing that craving away. It helps with your mind. Um, and then you want to get your endorphins going. So get up and move. Even if it's for a couple of minutes. Walk around the house. Do a couple of squats. You know, whatever it is, your, whatever your exercise is. Get your endorphins moving. And that could help, you know, get rid of that craving too. You want to try to do everything in your power to, to trick yourself or trick your mind to think, okay, no, I really don't need that. Because, you know, once endorphins do help. And it really do, I do feel that when I'm walking. I do feel better when I'm done walking. I could be tired, I, you know, after I do my water aerobics, it really works. It's a workout, but I feel like really good. And it's the endorphins that are moving throughout your body. So that's important. Um, she said that she, uh, like you can find an alternative healthy solution. So it's not quite the same. It's not a Snickers bar. But you can maybe bake an apple with some cinnamon on it. Or you can, um, she talked about an ice cream, and she says, you know, if I really have to have something, it's not a, it's not cheap, she said, but I'm worth it. <laughs> she said, I'm worth it, and I'm going to pay it. Of course, everybody has their own financial situation, but for her, this is what she said. And the name of it is called Halo Top, H-A-L-O, and then T-O-P. They have more than one type of flavor to that. She said uh, um, it comes in like a little pint, you know, like, not a big thing. Uh, they're in half cup servings. A half a cup serving of that is only two points. So if you just really want to just have something and you just got it in your mind, she gets the measuring cup out and she puts it to, you know, 
right to the top, goes across the top, and it, she eats it out of the measuring cup. She's not going to miss not one bite of that. It's not going to lose some in the transfer to the bowl. <laughs> so she'll eat right out of that, and somebody asks her, so, and then do you lick it clean? She goes, I'm not answering that. So that was her answer. But anyway, um, there's six grams of protein in those and only four grams of sugar in that half cup serving. So that's what she her healthy or healthier choice is. Um, she found that and this is what she has and so it's in the freezer it's waiting for if she really needs it It's not something she does every day. It's not you know, but every now and then you know that feeling and you want to you want to satisfy yourself Find that now I found those I the Weight Watcher on those sticks, you know, they're only four points um, They're really good. I got the chocolate one because I like chocolate <laughs> And uh, it's not big and it's not like you know, you're getting in there to get a bowl of ice cream but it really does and I am very picky about aftertaste of diet things and i'm telling you there's no aftertaste to that it it really truly is it's a low fat ice cream and it, it's really good i would highly recommend it i would highly recommend it and i think you get like six bars in the box so it's a good thing that would probably be what i would say is my healthier choice now of course i do like some jelly beans and i tried i'm trying not to buy those you see i haven't been buying them because uh, that is my red light food <laughs> I, you know, I might want to start with one little bag of 10 and then I'm going to go to three bags. You know, no, I'm just saying, I, everyone knows what it is. And she said, you know, one person talked about they were just in a slump and they just wanted to give up. And they're trying so hard not to give up. And she says the one thing, because they're not losing. They go up a pound, they go down a pound. They go up a pound, they go down a pound. And uh, she says, well, but if you continue with it and you don't give up on yourself, Right now, you are going up a pound, a down a pound, up a pound, a down a pound. You quit, and you're not going to do that. No, you're going to go up a pound, up a pound, up a pound, up a pound. You're not going to go down. You're going to keep going up. And like I can so highly can, you know attest to, because I thought I could do it on my own, and I gained all the weight I lost back. And she says, you know how hard it is to work on those pounds, your .6 that you're losing, the .2 you're losing, you know. Uh, and then you can put it on like that. It comes back and then some, I can attest to that too, uh, very quickly, very quickly. And all your hard work is just down the drain. So if you're really going through a slump, it's to the point where just remember, you might be going, like I said, up a pound, down a pound, and you might not be losing, or you might only be losing so slowly. What's the point? Well, it's way better than gaining. And that's what will happen the minute you stop. And the, the comfort and the support that you get from going to a meeting is really important. And a lot, you know, obviously that's why the people who come, come. And I know not everybody can come to a meeting and some can't afford it. And I understand that completely. Um, but then get the support from someone was, I guess, her point. She says, you know, form your own friends. She says, not that I'm going to tell you not to join Weight Watchers. Obviously, she works for Weight Watchers. She says, wants people to come. That's the point. Obviously, they want to make money on that. But her point was, is if you can't afford it, don't just say, okay, we're, that's it. I can't do that. No, no. Find a couple of friends. Get together at each other's house on a certain specific time for a meeting. And give yourselves a meeting. Go online, she says. Find some inspiration. You can have them come on YouTube. And I'd love them me to be your leader. You can show the video to them. But if you find somebody else that you, you click better with... Find somebody, get your group of couple of girls or guys, whatever, how it works. Get a specific time and do your own meaning and do your own thing and support each other because the support is so, so important. And if somebody, there was a lady here who was talking about last week, she was, you know, had a bad week. She didn't want to come. She made herself come. She just, she, she gained and she knew she was, but she, and she did and she gained and she looked sad throughout the whole meeting. And after the meeting ended, a lady from the other side of the room had seen her. I'm going to cry. Anyway, and had come over after the meeting and said, I can see you're in trouble. Let's go talk. Pull it in. Anyway, and this lady was crying at the meeting because she was talking about it. And it was, it really hit home that there's somebody who cared, who doesn't even know you. Okay. Oof. Let me stop. And then bring it back. Okay. Alrighty. So that was it. Don't give up. Don't give up. That was her point. Um, what else? We talked about they had a baked corn tostada. And it's by the company called Charas. C-H-A-R-R-A-S. And it was in a box. And they were just the tostadas. 
And then, of course, you can put anything you want on there. Chicken, whatever it is you're doing, you know, obviously. Those were only one point each. So if you need the crunch of something, or you can break that up and have that be your crunch. Instead of eating chips, you know what I'm saying? You only get one point, and they look like they were about this big. So you could put enough on there, like a, like a Taco Bell tostada, you know what I mean? It's a good size, and you put if you put enough good stuff on there, you know, you're going to be low on points. And you could have more than one. So, like me, when I, you know, I eat the tacos instead of the burrito because I can have more than one. <laughs> In my mind, it helps, you know, whatever. Um, and then they said, of course, just, just slow down. Slow down when you're eating. And uh, you should chew each bite 25 times and, and consciously count that out. Or you can eat with chopsticks because, well, that'll slow you down. <laughs> I would probably be just this thin if I Anyway, I don't know how to eat with chopsticks. Anyway, try to figure out all the ingredients and the points total if you're at a restaurant while you're eating it. Give it a conscious thought. Okay, this is how many, this is how many, this is how many. Then you know how much your plate is. And boy, hmm, that might be too many. So let's eat half. You know, you're still going to enjoy it because you want that meal. But you can say, I don't need all of it. And don't bring it home because then you're going to eat it again the next day <laughs> or later that day if you really have no willpower. So, you know, uh, you don't want to pay for something you don't eat, but then you, but you're paying for it because you're going to gain. So anyway, uh, put a timer on the table and, and tell yourself, I should take so long to eat this meal. Whatever it is you are, everybody's different. So time yourself and so you know okay no i only did that in half the time i wanted so i have to you know slow down a little bit more next time and uh, use your non-dominant hand with the fork because that's a little more harder to get things on there and it will slow you down and don't eat when you're watching tv or playing games or working um or reading or whatever whatever that mindless eating is don't do it just don't do it because you'll just keep eating and you won't know when to stop because you don't have a time frame in mind. And then put your fork down between each bite. You should set it down, enjoy that bite, and then come, you know, pick it back up and, and enjoy that one. So that was the total meeting. Um, I think I went over all the points I wanted to. It was a really good meeting and I'm, I'm like I said, I'm really happy that Dorothy was back. I felt bad for her, but... You know, she needed to be back. She said that I need, she needed us ladies and uh, men. There's men there too. And uh, so, and she got a good laugh out of people made her laugh, uh, which was good. She needed that, she said. So that's the good thing about a meeting. Anyway, so I'm, I'm on my way back. I lost some weight again. I'm very happy about that. And it is a struggle. Every pound, every, you know, I, I'm trying to make good choices and and I'm just determined, determined. I see so many ladies and gentlemen. Well, I don't really watch too many gentlemen on here on YouTube, quite honestly. In the meeting, I see men, though. And they so inspire me when they tell me how much they lost. Or, you know, they lost 75 pounds. or they lost. And I'm thinking, oh, my goodness. That could be me. And I went to a meeting yesterday for my son's school. And it's about a Washington, D.C. trip for next year. They do it a year in advance. They go in May. And because uh, it costs a lot, you know, and you have to, you can make payments. And if you want to be an adult to go, she was really kind of trying to tell people not to go. This is, you know, it's very difficult. You one day we walk 19 miles, and the other, you know, we are moving every single day. So um, there's steps to be had, and whatever, whatever. And she was trying to dissuade people from going, and I'm thinking, no, that's my goal. There we go. A year from now, I got to be able to do that because I've never been to Washington D.C. Gary's already been. I see no other opportunity to me for ever getting there. This is the one chance I'm going to have, and I'm going to do it. So, you know, she's, you know, she said, if you want to, you should register soon because, you know, it takes a first come, first serve on the adults because they'll have every child that wants to go, and there's only so many rooms, they have two buses. I came immediately home from there, literally walked in the door, went to my computer, and, and, and registered myself for that. And then I registered Josh after because I knew he'd get on for sure. And between me registering and the next, and then registering Josh, it was 10, t 10 slots already taken. So I'm like, everybody else, you know, she was kind of like telling you, only, I don't know why that turned off there. Hmm, I don't know what's going on with my camera. I'm gonna have to double check it. I apologize for that. You didn't miss anything because I was watching and I saw it happen. But anyway, and there's so many adults are gonna go, this is my goal for next year. I have to lose weight because I wanna keep up with that trip and I'm not gonna miss it. So it's kind of a goal trip for me and it's gonna cost a little bit of money, but you know what? I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Josh, not so happy that I'm gonna be one of the um, you know, chaperones, but oh well, life goes on. 
maybe a year from now he'll be a little bit more mature and he'll understand why I want to go. But right now he's not too thrilled. Whatever. Anyway, okay, I got to go. Uh, I just wanted to give you this information. Again, if you have any questions, you can ask me. If I don't know the answer, I'll ask my leader. I'll tell you next week. If this was helpful to you and you think it could be helpful to somebody else, please share it. Uh, like this video and subscribe. Thanks, guys.